Well, good morning, my Geminians. Happy Friday. We made it another week. We're at the weekend. We're at the weekend, people. All right, Geminis. You know, I just did Pisces. They were my first sign of the day. And your card, I think we even started with the Magician card too. Um, but the first card out was Lovers. And I think for a good two minutes, I was calling that the Piscean Major Arcana. But then I realized you were completely in that reading. That that maybe you're dealing with the Pisces. That's crazy. So I'm like, I, I got to do Gemini next because, well, what is going on with you guys? And look at both your cards, Virgo and uh, your card with the, uh, blah, 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 I can't speak, with the Magician. And then we have the Knight of Swords reverse, which I like because that's getting clear on something, cutting crap out, cutting that lack of focus to get clear on what you want to do is your Knight of Swords reverse on the clarifying deck. And I know, look at, do you guys see this? It is a brand new Tarot of the Mystical Moments deck. Check that gold foil out. I love it. I forgot, this is my older one. I forgot it even had that. So yeah, pretty amazing. So yes, I am doing bonus reads on Sunday. I'm going away tonight. So I, I don't think I'll be doing them by tomorrow night. So I'm definitely gonna do all three on Sunday top three viewed highest signs and if you haven't yet and you're feeling my vibe please feel free to like and subscribe Pi or see i almost called you pisces see gemini oh my gosh i can't tell you two apart you guys are like twins all righty gemini 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 what is going on with you guys sun and rising venus gemini sun look at that page of swords and the magician reverse what is that about all right, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Gemini, know a Gemini, feel like being a Gemini, well, Geminis, I am glad you're here. The reason why I say that is you could be a Gemini. This could be your story. Well, it is your sun sign, or you could be what you call a cross watcher dealing with a Gemini. Well, you could still be the main story. That's just how energy works. That's why cross watching is very hard to do. All right, my Geminians my Geminians. And yeah, I know I go back between somebody, a couple people are like, why do you do that? Well, because sometimes I feel like I'm speaking to a Gemini and sometimes I'm speaking to many Geminis, Gemini and Gemini and plural and singular. All right. All right. One more, one more, one more. Six of cups and lovers reverse. Wait. All right. That feels good. All right. What is the collective messages for my Geminians? What are the collective messages for my Geminians? What are the collective messages for my Geminians? Collective messages. Okay. I like when Tarot picks it. I really do. But sometimes I'll have to pick it. Well, okay. That's a lot though. That is a lot. Seven of swords reverse. Ten of swords reverse. And there you are. Nine of swords reverse. It's, you know, sometimes finding out who people really are can be the best thing that can happen to you. Let me close this window. I had to open it even though it's like 15 degrees and snow because... There was a candle that was making me sick and I had to get rid of it. All right, seven of swords reverse. Maybe somebody was getting away with lying to you, manipulating you, cheating on you, talking to other people that caused you. And when you take these two cards, the seven of swords reverse, Aquarian energy in your card, 10 of swords reverse and nine of swords reverse. When you take this, I feel like you may have been gaslit too. Um, because this is ongoing pain and them getting away with it, but something, they were getting away with it. But I feel like, Either you caught them, I feel like you caught them because seven of swords reverse sometimes can be trying to make things better, but we have a nine of swords reverse. This is you, I feel like this is how many times it probably happened. See all the eyes? And you were just like, I know, I know you're lying to me. I know there's something going on. And so nine of swords reverse is, I feel like by kind of maybe pulling yourself away. Oh yeah, page of swords reverse and king of cups reverse could be disloyal definitely could be that page of swords reverse is your bad news card four pentacles reverse below that and the seven of cups where there once was confusion now there's release four of pentacles reverse kicking out who confused and said what yeah it feels like there could have been a recent pulling away here what's influencing the seven of swords reverse the ten of swords reverse and the nine of swords reverse okay that will do it remember we had a nine of swords reverse knight of swords there you are again bad news see there's news all over her you found something out you you cut it i feel like you could have hung in there and gave this person the benefit of the doubt knight of pentacles but the but you knew something was not right five of swords and the more you hung in there the more you became this guy back here 
You was like a shadow of your former self. And you'll be like, why did you take a piece of me? Because see how he's missing a piece of his arm? And she's like, I didn't do it. And he's like, yeah, you did. She's like, no, I didn't. And she's like, what is that in your hand? Right there, there I am. And she's like, oh, this? Yeah, I don't know how it got in my hand. That's gaslighting. I feel like with these seven of swords reverse and a five of swords, what's influencing this, I think you hung in there, gave the person a benefit of the doubt. It could be a lover. This could be honestly a family member or a friend. And by with that page of swords reverse that I kept seeing, you stepped your game up. You probably found something out and then you cut it out with your energy. See how she's cutting through the, the crap with the clouds? I think it's just like, it's, it's time to do some cutting. All right. What is the reason for the reading? Wow, that is a, that is a lot of main energy going on. What is the main, what is, okay, there he is again. Page of Swords wants to definitely come out. And for some of you, how he's holding that that dandelion, you know, it's just like a being a child where you blow out a wish. I feel like you held on to this because what it's it was your wish fulfillment. If this is a job or a person. If it could even be a childhood friend for some of you. Okay, what is in the past for my Geminians? What's in the past? What's in the past? What happened in the past? Man, there's a lot of cards out here. It's crazy. What happened in the past? What happened in the past for my Geminians? King of Wands. That could be very attractive. You trusted this person saying, this is my soulmate. I need to be with this guy. And I feel like he played you a tune if the he or she very roberta flack killing you softly with their love song played you a tune and you liked it this is person who seemed to know what they wanted seemed like you could trust them seemed like we're on the same page what is on your mind geminians what is on the geminians mind not feeling gemini maybe this is more of a specific story for somebody out there what is on gemini's mind what is on Gemini's mind? What is it? The Ace of Cups. Transformational love, but it starts with healing yourself. See how it's now flowing over her? This love did transform you, even if it ended in heartbreak. I think you, I mean, for, I don't think you would change the way you love somebody because what you, how you love somebody is not the issue. It's allowing the wrong people in. It's not, it's just, it's not giving somebody the title of a king if they're really like a knight reversed. Page of Swords and the Ace of Cups. What's in the near future? Because I'm also feeling that could be somebody else. What's in the near future? Because this now be in the same line. I'm almost getting a deeper storyline here, Geminians. And the reason why, let me get the near future card and I'll tell you, Six of Swords, yeah, you're, you moved on. This is, I'm getting two timelines, that's why. Okay, for some of you, this is what you're going into, right? This is what you're into. You're like, oh, I know they're lying to me because there's definitely that class of people, and I, I see it in the comments, that are just getting their lives torn apart based on somebody's manipulation and lives. But then there's people who've been through this a year or two, or maybe three months ago or two months ago. Um, just different timelines. And I feel like this is where you are. This is the other timeline, okay? So somebody's in a new relationship, they moved on, and I feel like there's something new going on, very exciting. But this damn Seven of Swords reverse is playing both. Now for some of you, if you've moved on, this is this person going to enter again. Maybe they've always entered, but now that you're moving on, they might step up that energy, trying to make it better, trying to apologize, trying to say, oh yeah, I screwed that up. I'm really this, I, I just, I was in a bad place or I was, I really thought the marriage was falling apart, but it is now, you know, however this is, I feel like because you're moving on, you're actually might be attracting that back. But for many of you, I actually, if that's your story, I feel like they haven't been out of your life completely. They've always been popping in throughout time, but they might just step up their energy because I actually feel like this is something new for you guys. Ace of Cups, Six of Swords, and the Page of Swords. And this is you healed. You healed yourself. Somebody's making you feel alive again. You might be, it's just really new. You're, you're a lot more mature. You know how to handle this better. Um, 
but yeah this this is um and with the knight of swords reverse it's let's see in the world and the strength card look at that i just actually i feel like the way you handle people now you just don't give them the benefit of the doubt anymore i think this person whoever this was kind of destroyed that in you to to, to openly trust people um because i do i feel like you may have openly trusted somebody to be who they say they were and they weren't seven of swords reverse shows me that they slithered into your life pretending to be all loyal and empressy and shit you know with the flowers but then they they took what they wanted and maybe slithered away and now they some of you they want to slither back in but this is you standing your ground not letting the past back but i feel like even if with this new energy you're still in knight of swords reverse knight of swords reverse is a very clear and focused it's if you look this is probably one of the only suits in the tarot cards where I look at halves. So the Knight of Swords might be one, the Knight of Swords reverse might be one and a half, and then the Queen is two. And so the Knight of Swords reverse is actually getting very a lot more clearer than like this. This feels good. This is probably that King of Wands. You rushed into something without thinking, you threw balls to the wall all over the place, and they exhausted you out. Because see the horse? I feel like that poor little horse is being run all over the place without any specific destination. So when it's like this, the horse is tired, he stopped moving, and it gives the rider time to think about what he really wants. This is why it becomes clear. So that goes into that, that Queen of Swords. So yeah, look at that. Two major arcana and getting clear on what you deserve and what you want, which I really, really like. So, all right, what is this? This is a lot is what this is. So we have a Seven of Swords Reverse, Ten of Swords Reverse, and a Nine of Swords Reverse, which are all pretty much great cards to have Reverse. The Ten of Swords Reverse can either be lingering pain or letting the pain go. I actually prefer to see the Ten of Swords upright, but depending on the cards around it, I think it's just saying that somebody held on to someone way past their expiration date. They over, they ignore the, the, the red flags. They gave them the benefit of the doubt over and over until they didn't. All right, what is that? Seven of Swords Reverse, Ten of Swords Reverse, and the Nine of Swords Reverse. Seven of Swords Reverse, the Ten of Swords Reverse, and the Nine of Swords Reverse. And it's the Hierophant. Learning. You learn from the situation. Some of you, this person was married. Give me a Taurian energy. Give me another card on that. And you know what? It's kind of like you may have even... I'm just noticing these two guys on their knees. It's almost like maybe you really... I mean it was almost worship level because whatever drum they whatever music they were having you dance to and sing to their music over here it's kind of like you're like you just thought they were so amazing like you were mesmerized by them all right what is this hierophant why the hierophant for my geminians why the hierophant knight of wands but you can trust them they talked a good game they talked a good game, but then they just had nothing to back it up with. What is this? What is this Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Swords reverse? Yeah, look at that. And it's kind of like they started something. You thought it was leading to a King of Pentacles, and then they cut it out. They just like Knight of Swords reverse. It was like gone. Five of Swords, it was what's influencing this is you were. I just feel like somebody was really taken advantage of. What is this Five of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords Reverse for my Geminians? Five of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and then Knight of Swords Reverse for my Geminians. What is that? What is that? We got three knights on this person. And somebody, Eight of Cups Reverse. It's like whatever they, they sold you, whatever bill, whatever, whatever story they sold you, it had you really here, stuck here, refusing to move on, refusing to believe that this person is, is who you now see them as. And we have two knights and a knight. I mean, we have three knights, but two of them are, no, one's upright and three are reverse. It's like they're not even, you thought they were a king and they're not even a knight upright. What is this page of swords? Okay, there it is. And the death card. Whatever reason for the reading, whatever, whoever's finding something out, look at that. I think your intuition was always right. It caused you to wake up from the situation. Whatever truth you found out, Ace of Swords and Judgment. It, it was painful. This person probably juggled people and gave to other people. Look at that, two and six. 
had you working for it, you had two plus sixes and eight of pentacles, had you working your ass off to obtain someone who was giving their energy away to other people. Ace of Wands and Temperance though, Ten of Cups. I actually feel like this is that, this storyline right here. This is what you have coming in. But you have to heal from this first and you have to understand what this moon energy did to you, the Ace of Cups reverse. Why this, why? Like, why do people have to go through this? This could even be depression, dark night of the soul, ace of cups reverse, is because you feel fooled and foolish and and exposed and you, you know, that you were lied to, manipulated, but why? It's because you have to realize queen of swords reverse being here is allowing the wrong ones in. And you have to sometimes go through this to realize that if you, if you keep your sword down and you keep your boundaries non-existent because you overly trust people there are people who just see that and want to come in to take whatever they can get and you you don't want to have to relive this lesson so that's why i feel like as painful as this is and for some of you it wasn't even this per this person could have been your boss this person could have been somebody in your town that could, you know is married but they were really attractive they could have been successful whatever this was i feel like this person had status okay let's get real i feel like this person had something other than a wand or you know a nice car it was something they had and it was kind of like it was alluring it was magnetic it was oh my god they noticed me kind of energy and that's why it was let in so we're going to take this disappointment and and break it down and learn in this moon and within this moon i feel like in the higher fit right here i feel like in this healing stage there's gonna be a lot of learning going on of what it was that i feel like i had to have this person because i do feel like there's a little bit of worshiping status going on here why did i feel like i had to have this person what was it and whatever that was because i don't think it was the charming personality or the way he beat his drum it was something he had and it was because you want that, you realize, I don't need him to have that or her. I don't need that status. I can go and have it myself. And not only that, I'll have it better. I'll do it better. And that's this Ace of Cups. That's why this was transformational for you. Because if it didn't come in, I feel like you too could have been a Knight Reverse and a Knight of Wands Reverse. I feel like before this person came in, you were like this. And you'll be like, no, Stacy, I wasn't a player. Well, you know what? This doesn't mean player. It really doesn't. It means somebody's not living up to their full potential. This is somebody who needs to explore every avenue of himself. He needs to learn because he knows one day this knight is going to be this king. Well, you're not typically born with that kind of power. You need a lot of life experience. So this is very excited to get that life experience. It's, it's, it's learning whatever you need to learn. Um, because kings are successful, right? They have that certain status, but they have that respect. They have that allure from people. That's not something you're born with. That's something you learn through adversity and challenges. And you learn how to get over them and you become stronger, you become braver, you become more resistant to, to the player kind of energies. And so you get more focused on what you want and now you're doing things that most people don't do. That is where the lure factor is and you want that for yourself so i feel like you may have been like this you may have kind of been untethered not sure what you want to do but there's something i want to do and maybe if i hook up with this person this person can kind of get me on track or figure it out for me but then they disconnected and they kind of slithered away and then you what you're going to realize is this person really doesn't have as much as you think they do they may have had the job but they may have an, a gambling problem or spending money problem or a debt problem or sleeping with too many people problem or having herpes problem you know what i mean there's things that you realize as you get as you grow into yourself gemini as you grow into that king of swords because you are a knight of swords trying to be a king of swords in your life get that clear get that that decisiveness this is who i am and i'm okay with it and this is what i need to do and i don't need to talk about it i'm just going to do it um when once you get to that level i think you start hearing things about this person you realize that the person that you wanted so bad could have hindered you not helped you so god protected whoever i'm reading for because what you are really meant to do is beyond this. It's more emperor mode, right? 
this is so beneath you, but you have to rise above it to realize how beneath it really was. This is someone down the line you'll probably have sympathy. You'll probably have sympathy for their spouse or whoever is has to be in their life. Because whatever this was, it was really transformational, even if it's not at the time. At the time, it feels like you're devastated. But just know, if you're in this devastated moment, what you're really becoming, I feel, is super successful. Look at this, Six of Cups, Magician, oh my gosh. <gasps> Look at all. Because this didn't happen, because, ooh, I'll get there, because this Knight of Wands reversed, Two of Cups reverse, Seven of Cups reverse, and Eight of Wands moving on now that you see something very clearly, okay? Because this didn't happen, this soulmate, it was a soulmate. Anything that fundamentally changes you, no matter how short or long it is, it's a soulmate. It's, it's you know, people get hung up on Twin Flame and Karmic and soulmate, and they wanna, they, they wanna put these things in boxes to sit there and say, to try to convince themselves that who they're talking to now has to be the one because that was a Karmic and this must be a Twin Flame. And you know, it's the truth is, is they're all, if they change you, if they make you pause to reflect on who you are and what you want, it's a soulmate, it's a karmic. They're all, karmic is here to teach you bad things and good things, bad things and good things. It's a fact of life, you're not gonna get away with it no matter what title you give it to. Yes, this is a soulmate because yes, it changed you. Yes, it caused you to be in this energy. Gemini said you're gonna, you're, you're reaching for a king of swords and this is, this is you at your king of swords level. You are a knight becoming a king and you thought you were dealing with a king who was really a knight reverse, okay? So why this didn't happen? It's because if it, it would have hindered you if you had it, no doubt about that. No doubt, because this is what you're going into. Some of you, I mean, the sooner you get on this path, the quicker this comes in. I'm not, I'm not here to tell you, oh, sit on your couch and do nothing and it, it falls into your lap. Life doesn't work like that. Love doesn't usually just come knocking at your door and a million dollars winning a lottery doesn't usually happen to most people, okay? This takes effort. But you know, what you're proud of does take effort. It's the effort that makes you proud. It's not the actual gift at the end. So the star is wish fulfillment and it's you going the distance for yourself. It's you being in every part of your power right here. It's you reaching for something more. Even if people said, no, it's not possible, you'll say, yeah, I'm gonna create a way to make this possible. You, This is you on your chariot moving forward. And a chariot is not a comfortable experience. It's if it, I, I, you know, the best way I explain a chariot is if you've ever rode, rode a horse before. Riding a horse is terrifying. It is. I've ridden them. I've ridden them fast. I've ridden them downhill and it never makes me feel like I'm not going to die because the more you, like a horse goes faster, you feel like you're going to fall off and then you're going like what, 20 miles an hour, whatever it is. And you see your life flash before your eyes and you're like, that's it. I'm falling off. So what does it make you do? It makes you hold on tighter. It makes you stronger. It makes you more determined to not fall off. That's what the chariot's about. It's not about getting there at the end. It's about the growth in the, on your way. So this is a change in six of cups. You want that soulmate? You have to be that soulmate. You have to be connected to yourself to even recognize when it comes in. Because if you're still at this level, you're gonna think this is it. This is the one, this has gotta be. Look at those flames. Well, this is a guy who, who, who does this for many people. You want somebody to give you their one and only cup, right? not somebody who gives you one of their seven of cups that were just given to them. Kind of like re-gifting, that's what that feels like. This person will re-gift you a gift. Something he gave, someone gave him something seven years ago is in his closet, gives it to you. And you know, in this kind of energy, you'd be like blown away. But in this energy, you would see it for who they are. And that's the energy you're going into. All right, my, my beautiful souls, I will see you maybe Sunday, but I'll definitely see you next week. Take care, Gemini.